Hi everyone and welcome to this brief tutorial, a guide on how to access and use Zoom to attend online lectures. First uh, let us see how we can install Zoom on the different platforms which are using. In case you're using a laptop or a computer, all you need to do is to go to your web browser. In this case I'm going to open uh, Chrome or I can use Microsoft Edge or Firefox depending on what you want to use then you can go ahead and search for zoom download when you type in zoom download it's going to uh, open up uh, a search result with many different results and in this case I'm going to select uh, zoom download center and then I go ahead and click on it then it's going to take me directly from where I can in download and install zoom so I'm going to depending on the operating system of my computer I'm going to use and choose uh, which <coughs> uh, is best for me or which is going to work for me so I'm going to say download zoom for Windows and then uh, I'm going to download it a 64-bit client then it will start downloading and when it's done downloading you're going to go ahead and install it and after installing it you'll find it on your start menu and then you can just search for it or you can click on it then it will launch and then uh, <coughs> this is how you can install zoom on your desktop if you don't have an account you can choose to sign in or to sign up let us also see how you can install zoom on your mobile device uh, in this case I'm going to use Android as an example if you don't have zoom on your phone you open your phone and then you go to your menu and you look for Play Store. Uh, you look for Play Store, and I'm going to open my Play Store. And once I get my Play Store, I'm going to search for Zoom. I just type in Zoom and then hit Enter. After I'm done typing in Zoom, I'm going to look through the different options available for me. And then I am going to. It usually has a blue icon with a white video uh, icon inside. Then I select Install then it will verify from Play Store, it will be pending and then boom it will start with the installation so that is how you get zoom on your mobile device same applies to iOS O you go to uh, you go to the store page and then you search for zoom and then you install it you have it installed on your mobile device now after having zoom in the meantime as it is downloading and installing there's a timetable which was shared to you which timetable has the links to the different classes. I'm going to go ahead and extract all the details that you need for a BBC and BOEM. Uh, this is your timetable and it's going to be running two sessions, group A and group B for year one. Same applies to BOEM group A day and group B. Uh, group A is for morning is for the morning lectures and group B is for the evening lectures. Group A runs from 8 to 12 uh, PM and then uh, group B runs from 5.30 to 9.30 PM um, alongside the alongside the course unit or the course which you are offering there is a link to that course uh, the good thing is that we don't have electives as yet so it is one course one, one link throughout uh, the entire courses so what you do in order for you to be able to access that different classroom I'm going to show you how so my zoom is done installing on my mobile device and as you can see it has installed here so I'm going to go ahead and close my Play Store and open my zoom when I open zoom on my mobile device this is the first landing page I'll see I'll see options of a start a meeting start or join a meeting or sign up and sign in it is always recommended that if you can go ahead and sign up because when you sign up or when you sign into a, a, a new app you get more features as compared to someone who is who has not signed up regardless whether you have signed up or not you'll be able to use zoom to access classes so um as you can see uh, zoom is installed on um, my mobile device and this is a start page where it has different options of sign in sign up and uh, join a new meeting so what you do, uh, you will go to this timetable which will be shared with you or which was already shared with you and all you need to do to access the link is for you to click on this link. Um, after you determining the class you want to attend either morning or evening, 
you'll just go right ahead and click on the link of your particular program and uh, let's say i want to attend this class i'm going to click on that link and then when you click on the link it's going to take you to a registration page now this registration is very important because it helps us pick a tendency for you so it's better that you go ahead and fill in with your correct details and then after you press on the word register in case the meeting has already started this will show that meeting already in progress join meeting now but since the meeting or since the class has not yet started it's going to show register so you go ahead and uh, uh, click on that link fill in your first name last name is usually your surname and then your email address you confirm it and then you press on uh, confirm or register after when you're when you're done registering it will bring you uh, this page which says meeting registration approved and that means that your registration has been approved and it will also go ahead and will send you a link um, uh, sorry about that it will go ahead and send you a link in your email or the email which you have used to register it will send you a link via your email so you can go scroll down at the bottom of that uh, email there is a section which has a uh, join from pc mac ios or android and it has click here to join so you can go ahead and you click here you click on that so that you're able to join in the meeting call click here to join yeah that will be all so in case i click here to join let me click that to join so that i can illustrate for you it's going to pop up and ask me do you want to open with zoom meetings of course i'm going to say yes open with zoom meetings and then it's going to uh, open up in my zoom application which i downloaded and installed on my computer by default um after me joining in by default my microphone is going to stay muted and my video is going to be off and i advise that you always make sure your microphone is muted unless when the lecturer requests to talk you to talk to the class or when you want to ask something because usually there are things happening in our background some which may be private that we don't want the entire world to hear but also we want to have a convenient class so it's better that you don't distract others from learning so kindly make sure that you keep your microphone muted and also uh, make sure that you keep your video turned off unless when requested by the lecturer so how to unmute yourself you just click on um, this icon microphone and then you either be muted or unmuted if there's no red line closing crossing the microphone that means that you are unmuted and if there is uh, a red line crossing on the microphone that means that you are muted and the same applies to the video if you want to see the participants you will see you click on the participants option here this word participants and then you'll see the people who are in class in case you had forgot to name your device according to your names make sure that you go to your name it's usually on top click on more and then say rename and then make sure that your name is what is registered with a school because attendance will be taken and then you name it to your name and press ok you'll be able to see other participants in case uh, you, the lecturer asks you to check in the chat you can click on this chat icon and then it will pop up a chat box where you can send a message or even read other messages that are sent by your colleagues also in the event that uh, you want to uh, in the event that you want to uh, to raise your hand maybe to ask a question the different reactions that are available uh, there is this uh, you can either clap for someone who has contributed or you can like what someone has said or if you have something to celebrate it depends on what is happening in your class you can also go ahead and raise your hand there's that option under the participants menu there's an option which has raise hand so you can raise your hand so that the lecturer will be able to see that you have something you want to say and they'll pick you out and ask you what the issue may be that is how you raise your hand when you're using zoom under the participants menu there are quite a number of so many functionalities with zoom we shall explore most of them along the way but briefly i wanted to just give you a recap of how you can access install and use zoom to attend your classes now in case you have logged in and you can't hear anything always make sure if you're using a mobile device you have an option 
which will be asking you uh, you have an option which will be asking you uh, to either connect using device audio under the microphone when you click on the microphone on your mobile device you have an option asking you connect via device audio or collect via the internet you select connect via device audio make sure you select it and you unmute yourself and then your computer or your device will be able to hear what people are saying and you also be able to speak to the people in the meeting so briefly that is it thank you so much for your time in case you have an issue kindly reach out to me uh, you can reach out to me by email or by phone call or by uh, simple uh, instant message so thank you so much and wish you a happy learning while well, just stay at Macquarie University Business School <laughs>